I spent way too much money at Shein and I have a giant box full of things. Oh, I'm getting these out and they're already feeling a little bit weird in the butt. Now I have so many pieces, but I basically have three categories. I have dresses, I have active wear, including those leggings that supposedly make your butt look bigger. So we'll see how that goes and accessories. And I kind of want to go in that order, but either way, please, please, please hit the like and subscribe button down below and we'll get right into it. I'm going to include original photos of the item and the price of the item. So you know what I thought I was getting myself into. Did I shave my legs for this? No, I did not. So, you know, you're going to ignore that. Okay, folks. Here is the skirt. I love it. I'm not so sure about the jacket with it. I think I'd probably wear them separately from each other. So here is with the jacket, and I definitely think you can do it, and it's cute, and I love the jacket, but I don't know if I'm per se a matching outfit type of girl, but overall, I do love the two pieces. They're a lot lighter than you would get in this fabric from another store, so definitely keep that in mind. It's not like a heavy knit or anything. You're getting what you pay for, but it's still a very classic look, and I think she ended a pretty decent job for the price. Let's try on another item. It is definitely a spring summer number, but I'm addicted to sundresses. I own sundresses in so many different colors and looks. I don't even technically know if this qualifies as a sundress. It is a bit sheer, not that much for being a white color. I'm wearing nude underwear, but either way, it is two layers. So there is the blue layer and the white layer underneath. Here's that same dress in black. What do we think? Do we like the black or the blue better? Not that it matters because I am most definitely going to keep both of them. I think they fit really well and sheen returns are kind of annoying to do. This one's a very different and very out of my comfort zone. Probably the most extra item of them all, but I think it's pretty and fun and epically girly and youthful yet at the same time I feel like I'm going back in time. I almost feel like I'm hanging out with a prince in his poofy pants. It definitely has a texture to it so it's not like that cheap printed fabric so it definitely adds the look and it definitely adds how expensive it looks. Now I have a ton of active wear like leggings and pants and I think we're going to do those last in like a speed round of trying them on and we'll stick with finishing the dresses. As for this one I have a love-hate relationship relationship with it and I did actually wear it out but the thing about it is the buttons are very like bulgy like they're not holding well I think it would have been better if they used a larger button a smaller buttonhole something to make it more stable and also there's not more room in the bust so it's better for a smaller chested person because I literally can't button higher or it will just do the weird button bulge thing that nobody wants. Nobody wants that. Even in the like skinniest parts of me, there's so much gapping and you can actually like kind of see in between. So I almost feel like you could see things you're not supposed to see because the way the buttons are. They're very far apart from each other and the buttons are so tiny, yet the buttonholes are pretty big. Again, it's just not really working yet this dress is kind of big on me like it's kind of baggy and bulgy and there's a lot of room everywhere yet i'm having that problem where it's splitting apart so it's definitely the execution of the design now this one is another very summery spring look it does not make me think of winter or fall or anything like that i probably need to move somewhere where i can wear this all year long and it not be a problem florida tropical island tropical island but either way for now this is a number i'll probably wear in a couple months from now or wear it on a sunny day where i can pretend like it's summer or spring when it's most definitely not but she is cute with a flowery design i love the straps they're tied on the top so it's a little bow with long strings you can wear them in different ways and i do have one more dress to try on before we get into activewear here she is and let's see if you can spot the two main problems that i have with this dress Yes, this dress is relatively cute, but there's two things about it that make it look cheap and cheap or cheaper, like that cheap mall at the store where the dresses go on sale for like $2. The problem for me is 
one, the pattern doesn't go on the inside, but it is a droop dress. So like the dress is meant to droop at the top where the chest is. Like it's not like drooping a crazy amount, but it definitely is meant to droop. And if you had a smaller chest, more of that inner fabric would show and the pattern doesn't carry through on the inside and the fabric color on the inside doesn't really work. Like if they chose a darker color or if they chose a color that matched the design on the front better, then I think it would have worked. But it's too much of a contrast on the inside that it stands out. And even worse is the straps. The straps are a god awful color, but it stands out. Like it stands out on the back is way brighter, but the main problem is it stands out on the side of the dress. On the side of the dress, that strap stands out and that makes it look cheap. You can buy things that are cheaper and have them look more expensive, but these little tiny details are a dead giveaway of a cheaper looking dress. And it just doesn't look as good, it doesn't look as high end, but that is the end of the dresses. And now it is time to get into a ton of activewear. I have everything from leggings to sports bras to that's all I have, it's two things, leggings and sports bras. But all of the leggings are those butt scrooching ones. And I'm really questioning how this is about to go. Not sure about this. E. Some of the most odd fitting activewear I've ever put on. I did put on a top too. I lifted it up a little bit. It sits right here, but I figured up here gives you an idea of what the leggings look like fully. So we'll look at the leggings first, then the top. We'll talk about those separately. But these are the first pair of those cinched in butt pants. And I do like the side angle. I love the little stretch detail. I love the stretch down here, how it just gives it like a good design. Like I think it looks cute from the front and the side. I even like this side detail right here, but then it all goes bad in the back with this weird seam. Because I'm used to with like activewear pants, if they have that seam in the center, it's like cinched. This isn't cinched. It's just an elastic and it's a very odd elastic. Again, I love the angle right here to try to make your butt look bigger, but it's an epic fail with the seam in the middle. Like I don't even know if I would want to wear these out in public because of that weird seam. Well, what do you guys think? Do you think it's acceptable? I am wearing underwear that's not the no-show kind, so those are a little bit bunchy here, so ignore that. And here's the activewear top on top. It's just a little cinch detail in black. I also got it in blue. And the back is a razorback design. Same pair in blue. I think the blue looks good, but again, still not sure about that center seam part. I don't think it's doing much for the butt, the center seam being like this. I think I'd rather have a stitch line, but I definitely think that design on the top and the sides gives that little bit of something of shaping. So I do like that part of it. I think I'm more comfortable in the blue than I am in the pink, but maybe it's because it's less of a statement. But overall, I think they're okay. Maybe I'll give them a shot. Maybe we'll go to the gym and then maybe we'll never wear them. We shall see. But what do you guys think of the blue pair? Do you like the pink or the blue better? I also have it in gray. Why am I not surprised that I like the gray ones better? I think it's less about the fit and look of the item and more about your comfort zone. And when it comes to wearing flashy, showy, shapey stuff, I'm not as big about doing stuff like that. So I think the gray is the balance between the two because the gray is more muted, it stands out less, but it still has that contoured look. I love the contoured look of this. I definitely still think the center seam stands out more than I would want it to, but overall I could see myself wearing these pair, whereas the other two, I don't know if I would, not right away anyway. So I think gray is the go-to. If you're gonna get one of these pairs, I would go for the gray ones. I would, I would go for the gray ones. If you got no butt like me, it's not gonna make you have a butt, okay? It's gonna like be look cool and it fits honestly pretty relatively well and keep things tight. I don't know if you'd rip the center seam while working out, but overall it's not gonna really give you that much more of a butt. It's not a necessity. It doesn't have the scrunching and it doesn't really go between the crack to really emphasize the butt. Okay, these ones sort of, go between the crack more like I like, because they have a bit more of a scrunch here, 
but I definitely don't think they fit that well. But these are the actual leggings that started this whole adventure because there was a girl in my gym and she was wearing these leggings and I loved them and I had to ask her where they were from and she was like, she and I was like, huh. I never really per se thought of buying specifically leggings at Shein because I'm a little bit more picky with them than I am like tops and all that and dresses. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go look and see what they have. And they had the exact pair that she was wearing. Unfortunately though, you can't buy her butt to go inside of the leggings because that girl definitely had more in the trunk than I do and they looked really, really good on her. I'm not saying they look bad on me, but I honestly don't think they're doing me any favors and they were definitely doing her a favor. They were looking real, real freaking good and making the butt look plump. For me, I just feel like it kind of, I don't know, just accentuates my butt crack, but not in a good way. Again, it doesn't go in between the butt crack. It just makes a line on the butt crack, almost like you took a highlighter and just went boop. These are definitely my second most plain pair of all the ones I got. There's a lot less detail on them. The next pair is more like you might even wear around the house type of leggings. But either way, they have this little stripe design on the side with a little bit of a point that definitely gives you that curves because it goes like whoop to give you that like look on the front and that look on the side. Now as for the back of it, it again has that cinched in butt part and a little bit of a shaping on the top of it. And then obviously shaping again because of the design on the bottom. I definitely love the design under the thighs the best. Still not so sure about that center seam design. I think there's a better design out there than this specific type, but I do love the pattern. Like that black stripe right there is doing a lot for the illusion of the eye. These are the biggest fail of all of the ones I have tried on, not just the leggings, everything we have tried on. These are a big no for me. I would not say you should ever purchase these for one main reason. Overall, they look pretty decent. Like I don't love this look. That looks supposed to like make you look skinnier, but I don't think it really works because of how much of a contrast the band is. But overall, they're comfortable. They're relatively simple. They're black leggings, but they have the common black legging problem. And that's the fact that, okay, it doesn't seem too bad, right? No, they're completely see-through. Completely. Complete. Lee see through. It's a different fabric on the butt and the butt fabric is completely see through. Now I would say this one is a lot closer to a full length top, which I am impressed by because those are so hard to find. But at the same time, it doesn't have any support for the girlies. You might want to wear a bra underneath this if you're actually going to work out in, but it seems more like a active leisure like cover up, not an actual one you'd want to cover up and wear in the gym. It does have cool cinching details that bring in the waist. I think it's very comfortable. I think it fits pretty well and it has detailing in the back too. ignore the leggings, but either way it has detailing in the back that I also like. It has a zipper in the front that I think fits really well. Overall, I like it, but I wouldn't per se work out in it. Now as for accessories, I got some fun, exciting things. First off was belts. I accidentally bought double because I didn't realize that the price was for two belts, not for one. I must have put in my cart twice and didn't realize. And now I have double of each of them. But I guess I thought it was reasonable enough. I was like, oh, that seems like a reasonable price for one belt, even though really it was for two each. Here is the first one. I definitely am aware that this is a knockoff of another company's belt. And I have mixed opinions on that, but the clasp looks like this. I think the clasp is super cute and adorable and it's easily just clips onto the other side like that. But the one thing is it's adjustable, so it'll fit a lot of different people, but this type of adjustable belts means they're not really good at holding your pants up or your skirt up because if you put too much pressure on it, it will just go like that. So it's more for decoration than anything else. And then the other two I got are the exact same belt in different colors and a similar design. It has that adjustable factor where it pulls to adjust and then it has a little clasp on the front. 
This is the black one. It's black with gold and it definitely has like a pleathery, shimmery look on the actual belt. The gold, I'm not as much of a fan of as the other one. I think this one looks a lot cheaper. And then I got the same one in brown. Now the brown is a brown that I'm not usually typical seeing with belts, but overall I think these ones are cute and they would kind of work. These ones, not that big of a fan of. This one I definitely think is a good one, but belts aside, I also got watch is I got three of them and I just realized something about them that I'm not as happy about but I'll show you all them and maybe you can see before I even tell you let's go with the simplest one first this one is the black one all of them are from Lucky Fox and they were all super cheap so here is the black one. I'll take it out of the package for you guys and even try them on. Here is the black one, a pretty simple face and a simple black band with adjustability factors. But there it is. Do you see it? I'll give you a second to guess what the problem is. The front is a gold color. It's not a like true, true gold. I'm trying to figure out the name of it, but I don't remember. But the back, on the other hand, is fully silver. And those little details, again, make the difference in how cheap things look. If someone saw that even in the corner of their eye, it makes the watch look cheaper. But overall, I still think the watch looks pretty expensive for the price because it was really cheap. And I think the quality is pretty comparable to like a Target watch, which would be like $14, $15 or maybe even more now, who knows. A similar face as the other one. Overall, I think they're pretty cute. And then the last one I got is a bit different. It's in a green color, but here she is. I think it's really pretty. I love the green color. Then I also got a pair of sunglasses, and these I know for a fact look cheap they are very epically plasticky i did break a pair already and i'm still gonna buy more of them now the last thing i got for an accessory is this purse right here it's probably also a knockoff of another company but i'm not even sure the exact knockoff and i'm not buying it because i think it looks like another purse i'm buying it because i liked the look of it it's simple it's small and overall that is all the items that i got i filmed the rest of this on my phone because I went through two batteries trying to film this video. So please, please, please hit the like and subscribe button down below to support the girl that just spent hours filming, went through two batteries, tried on a bunch of clothes. My room looks like a disaster. And I will catch you guys every single Wednesday with a new video. I hope you have a great rest of your morning, evening, night, whatever it is for you. Don't shop as much as I do and I'll see you Wednesday.